that night ahead. Well, if your child has a good throwing arm, just not very good aim, he might do this. Um, threw the fastball, hit this uh, tail light assembly, busted it out. My fix was about a dollar ninety nine from Advanced Auto Parts. I just took two screws and temporarily put that on there to hold it together until I got the replacement part. Replacement parts from Folks Cafe or Van Cafe online. Uh, they had a it's not OEM, but it works just fine. So I ordered those and let's see what we got in the package. Let's go from there. So this is the package I got. Here's well packaged from. Lots of cool bubble wrap that my kids will fight over. I have two tail light assemblies. I have no doubt a packing seat. And uh, my reputation must precede itself because they gave me a cookie. Man, fat kids love cookies. So what we're going to do is start with the one that we need first. It goes like this. So this is not the one we want. But uh, going with this one. Got the wire on top. Yeah. So here we go. Put it just this wee bit. Yeah. See how that works. First thing, I gotta remove this. I just wanna remove these first just in case those uh, screws went in a little further than they should be. Now you can just kind of see the the damage. As you can see, if I would have hit the brakes, they wouldn't it would have just been a white light shining back at people. Hence why I had to temporarily screw that stuff in. Yeah. Do these? I'm gonna lower the trap on a wee bit. Now you maybe get a little closer. When you undo these, remember, of course, there's wires on the back side, which that should be common sense. When you take it out. Take these out so I don't lose them in the grass. Take it out here. Here's the wiring assembly. This part pops out, which is what we're going to do. We're going to take off this back piece. Can you make that out? You can see this line that separates the, the important bits from the broken bits. Uh, so. See what we can get here. This one just kind of pushes in. And once again, if your vehicle is like mine, where most of this stuff is still original, be very careful because plastic, as you know, gets very brittle. And that's the that's the business end of, of this thing. I'm gonna set it, woo, set it like that. It's the broken bit. Now I'm gonna undo this guy. Got my yield trusty sorry knife. I'm gonna cut this. I thought I could just puncture it. This is not like your normal packaging thing. It's got those little ridges in it. And there we go. And here we go. Reverse light is up top, blinkers on the outside. Should make sense to most. So let's see what we got here. Gently lowering it in. Just you got these tabs. Push down. I guess not wanting to see so something is off a little bit. There we go. Okay. Hmm. It's one of those things where you're tempted to force it. And then you end up breaking it and then you hate yourself for a little bit. 
Let's see what's going on here. Okay, that one went in much easier. That one's getting closer. And, all right. And that's it. Of course, now I got to good thing is I'm filming it so I can actually film it as I put on my brake light and everything and make sure everything works since rather than screwing in everything I'm just going to take this guy here put him in this top corner there that way it won't fall out Let's see if this bad boy works. Got my tail light. Oh, it's there. Blinker. Not cut on, even if it wasn't. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Show in reverse. Sweet. There you have it. We just replaced the tail light. And I think it looks fabulous. Alright, let's see how fast we can do this one. Here's our replacement. Set it on top. Get these guys. Top. Pull out. Alright. This tab goes in. The tab goes in. Uh -huh. And I still have it in reverse. And my lights are still on. Crazy self. Oh, it still works. And they're gonna unwrap the goodies. And uh, oh yeah, this one actually came with a nice little cellophane wrapper thing on it. And look, it's labeled with R like the old one, just in case you get confused. Okay, gently lowering it in. Come on. hurt to go around the edges with some gasket sealer or something just to ensure that water's not creeping up in there. That missed. Easy way to do it because this is a power tool this is plastic if you over tighten it you could very well break the very thing you just 
put them like that. So, what I do is I say, not do as I do. And there we go. Brand new tail lights. 150 bucks. Replaced them all out. Whoop, whoop.